So here we are in book widgets and I'm in the my widget section. Now the first thing that we want to do is we're going to click on create a new widget. Here we have all of our widget types and I'm going to choose exit slip. Here we are in our exit slip menu. First thing that we want to do is add a title. I'm going to use the date for my title. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a feedback question. The feedback question provides three possible answers, a positive, neutral, and negative answer that your students are going to be able to very easily click on. Now the content question is an open-ended question that allows your students to provide a paragraph worth of information to you. Just in case you need to add an image to your question, you can do so by clicking on the image button and either choosing an image, importing it from Google Drive, or finding an image online. Next, I'm going to add my teacher ID so it knows who I am and it can easily send me the results. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on instructions. The instructions are going to be the first thing that your students see as they enter your book widget. I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to give it a brief description. In order to preview our book widget, I'm going to click up on the right and click under Preview. Here we have our widget screen. You'll notice that our instructions popped up, and I'm going to click OK to bypass these. You'll notice that we have our first question, did you have a fun and exciting lesson? Your students are going to be able to click on one of these three faces. And also we have our image asking us, what did we learn? Please list the three things that we learned today. And down here, our students can tell us a little bit about what we learned today in our lesson. After they're finished with that, they can hit submit. Notice that if a student has not completed this question, it's going to prompt them to hit the answer before submitting. And now I'm going to hit submit. It's going to ask me for my student name and my class ID. And then I'm going to hit send. And my answers were su successful. My student answers were successfully submitted. And as a teacher, I'm going to get an email with all of their responses. But what if I'd like to change the way that this looks? I can simply come up here and hit design. And I have a number of options here, including changing the template from light to dark, changing the fonts, changing the color, and having access to all of the different options here so that way you can completely customize your book widget and make it exactly how you want. One of my favorite parts about book widgets is its ability to easily print exactly what you're looking at. To do so, I'm going to click up here and click on the print button. You'll notice that book widgets puts your entire widget right in front on a single sheet of paper and it is really, really easy to create something amazing in both digital and paper form for your students.